Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Shahzad Aryubi, who is the Minister for Information and Communication Technology and Communications for Afghanistan. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure for me to be participating in this uh, very important conference. It is my pleasure today I voted for the General Secretary Director and the Deputy General Secretary Director. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the fact that there's considerable attention at the moment being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies uh, for, as an enabler for good, for development, uh, for the benefit of people, families, communities and nations. And I wanted to ask you, what is your perspective on this? Uh, thank you. Uh, the, as you know, this is an era of the technology and uh, in each uh, sector and each field we need to uh, use technology and uh, especially uh, I, I will talk about Afghanistan because uh, we uh, in 2002 there was a scratch, we started from scratch, there was no cell phone, there was no infrastructure, there was no technology, there was nothing, no discussion about the e-governance, we started from scratch. But right now, uh, about uh, 23 million people using more cell phones in Afghanistan. We have like uh, uh, a complete uh, infrastructure uh, laid down, uh, like fiber optics in 25 provinces. In next two years, we will complete the whole country. We're connected with five uh, neighbor countries. This is a, a huge improvement. Uh, and uh, like uh, 8.7 million people using internet in Afghanistan. In that time, like internet price was uh, like $3,000 for AMB. Now we reduce it like $40. 3000 compared to $40, so yeah. But uh, if you talk about the uh, to change the life of the people, yeah, exactly like with education, there is a huge improvement uh, technology brought it to the life of the people with the medicines uh, and um, besides this with the agriculture if you see there is uh, uh, so many uh, improvement and changes in the life of uh, in the field of the agriculture with the help of the technology uh, we should uh, focus on the uh, e-governance like uh, uh, for the public services for the people who are uh, who need in their daily life in their businesses and uh, and, and how g government can uh, uh, improve overall system for the people, those who need like public services. We have done a very good job, like we started our one shop shop for public services. The idea behind this concept is to bring all the public services under one roof. And we will pay the way for the e-services. People will go to one place and they will have like their national ID card, their passport, their uh, uh, they can pay taxes and, and their driving license. So many uh, things will be in one one place, and and, and it's help a lot with the uh, bureaucracy, remove the corruption, and and also like people can get to online uh, application. And uh, th this is something what we need for the people. Let's talk about the sustainable development goals because we, we've uh, got a limited amount of time here but I wanted to really focus on the fact that this is the first plenipotentiary conference since the sustainable development goals were agreed by the world. What is Afghanistan doing towards this? Uh, sustainable development goals, uh, we, uh, we almost, what, what, what is the, the uh, uh, targeted and we almost achieved for the last uh, uh, several years. Uh, like uh, uh, we, we we have uh, enough revenue in this sector and, and and people using this technology uh, and there is uh, some more like uh, in the nutrition and and in the health sector there is uh, so many other things uh, in the SDG what we have uh, uh, identified now we are working on all and we are also committed for next four years we will, we will be working closely with the uh, ITU to, to achieve the uh, SDG goals of the United Nations. About half of the world's population are currently connected to the internet, the other half are not. I wanted to find out what's the situation in Afghanistan, what are you doing towards that? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we w were connected with five of our neighbor countries and, and recently we conducted the survey of the fiber of text to, uh, to use, uh, to will be connected with the China. Uh, Afghanistan population is like 35 million, uh, around 35 million, uh, uh, but we 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 are like 9.7 million uh, population using internet in this times. 
this is a this is something what we were working to uh, expand uh, to other uh, uh, remote area to the provinces that we, they don't have access to internet but uh, we we are working on the infrastructure and and th this is something we were using satellite uh, services in some area people also benefiting from the uh, 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 internet, but the price of the internet is still like expensive in Afghanistan. We are working to reduce the uh, price of the internet. Afghanistan is a landlocked country, and we are uh, not connected with the submarine, and we, we are paying transaction fee to our neighbor country, Pakistan, Iran, some uh, Turkmenistan, other. And now we are working to connect with the China uh, through Wakhan Corridor, which is like a very high peak and very cold area. Uh, there are so many challenges, but still we, we, we have some progress uh, in compared to our neighbor countries and compared to like other, uh, still Afghanistan is like a, a work, uh, um, this is like a, we're still uh, not the secure, but still we have a lot of uh, improvement in this uh, ICT sector. Well, we wish you the very best for the future. I'd like to give you a very brief opportunity, just a, a final message from you. Uh, the message is that uh, uh, from the ITU, like uh, they, they should more focus on the uh, developing countries like uh, Afghanistan, uh, we're expecting more that uh, with the standardization, with the capacity building, and uh, we we need to work with them uh, how we can use the updated technology in Afghanistan. This is this is our like uh, request for assistance from the ITU. Well, we wish you uh, the very best of the future and thank you for joining us in the studio today. Yeah, one, one more uh, uh, message, uh, like uh, Afghanistan is uh, uh, the country that uh, w w the government facilitated a lot for the international investor. If we we're welcome to them and uh, hopefully they will invest in, in, in the ICT community to work together with us. Thank you so much. I'm sure they're hearing you loud and clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.